teleport tech has achieved a breakthrough in human communication over a distance. Instead of displaying a person from a distant location on a monitor or screen, our out-of-the-box solution places that person at life-size within the room. Most importantly, the person has a telepresence of the distant location and therefore can make eye-to-eye -eye contact with people in the room. Because of this sense of presence and visible embodiment of the live person, we call this technology teleportation. In short, people from different parts of the world can communicate naturally as if they were within a few feet of each other. While this may sound like something from science fiction, it is a reality today. Teleportation technology captures the imagination of everyone who sees it, as NBC reports on the Today Show. There's been a lot of talk recently about the need for teachers. Well, the latest solution may be the virtual teacher. In Britain, one group of pupils has had a taste of teleportation in the classroom. NBC's Keith Miller went to find out how it works. These British school children first experienced virtual reality in the movies. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. An American inventor, Duffy White, came up with the idea to teleport teachers into schools miles away over the Internet. We can actually have images of people transmitted from one place to the other point to point, just like you would go to a site, make connections with people, and actually have them come to you as in real life, life size. White, 54 years old, says watching Star Wars got him thinking. I am Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight and friend of Captain Solo. The test run appeared to work in both directions. So you can see the quite surprised when I picked up when one wasn't looking at me and things like that. And, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it felt pretty real I, from my direction. I, I hope it did from theirs, too. I thought it was really fun and much more interesting than normal lessons. What we want to achieve is getting back to, to normal human communication. The only difference is the people are a distance apart. On April 5, 2001, history was made as Governor Rick Perry of Texas was teleported via Internet 2 from Austin to Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Governor Rick Perry. do this without thinking about uh, uh, Kirk and Dr. Spock and, and saying, beat me up, Scott. Uh, you, you knew that was coming. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I really look forward to hearing about the, uh, the, the potential of uh, uh, teleportation, uh, and not just for education, but for uh, uh, issues like uh, health care and, and health needs. And, and that's one, I think, Jim, that... Uh, uh, it it's really has an extraordinary potential in a state as vast as Texas. Uh, when we think about telemedicine and how we can use that particular aspect of this, what it means is a better quality of life in Texas. And I think that's what, uh, uh, what we really have to, to look forward to, uh, is that it's not just about this is going to be a tool that we can use to uh, better educate our children. I happen to think this is going to be a tool that makes Texans' lives substantially better all across uh, this great state. Now you said something a while ago that was really interesting when you uh, when you called out to Dr. Watson. As I recall, Alexander Graham Bell in the first uh, 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 the, the first words that were transported over this uh, medium that you couldn't say was Watson, come here, I need you. <laughs> and uh, so. I'm not sure come full circle or not, but uh, uh, this technology, I happen to think, uh, will have even a greater impact on the future of the citizens of this state and of this world uh, as that invention that Rebel came up with some time ago. So uh, uh, this is some extraordinary technology that, more importantly, is going to make a difference in people's lives. That even into Mexico, where uh, Mexican citizens using Texas facilities uh, is a very interesting concept. And I think one that uh, through telemedicine and through this teleporting that we can uh, make a reality. 
Can you ask him to describe what he sees when he's looking back to us? I, th I, I see you. I see you back there at the back of the room. <laughs> I can't shake your hand, but I, I'm, I'm there with you. It's, uh, uh, I feel like I'm standing on the stage, and there you are, the audience, and uh, uh, the interaction is, uh, this will be at, the, uh, uh, at, at UT Dallas giving a speech on the stage. It, it's very impressive from this end. You look like <laughs>